All right, so now that we have our basic React tooltip component in place, I want to go ahead and address two issues that we have in this component as of now. Um, so some most of you will have this question that why are we writing these styles inline and not using any CSS in JS or any external style sheet solution. Um, the, the answer for that is we want to keep the entire library to be um, small. We don't want to ship the CSS and JS solution with this tooltip component. And given that uh, the scope of our problem that we are trying to uh, solve is really small, so we can actually deal with this with uh, writing inline styles. And we could have easily avoided creating this additional span for rendering um, this triangle at the bottom by using pseudo styles uh, in C any CSS and JS solutions, but um, we added it because we want to keep the library bundle size to be extremely small, as, as small as possible. And um, another one is we missed out on a small thing uh, in, in our previous video where we considered the scroll for the y-axis, but we didn't consider the scroll for the x-axis. So we can easily deal with this by just adding window dot scroll x here in the left position so uh, it will now uh, consider whenever you have a horizontal scroll in place the scroll position and uh, render the tooltip at the appropriate um, position so yeah that's pretty much it for the component uh, implementation now we can go ahead and write some tests to make sure that our tooltip works properly uh, if in case we keep extending it into more use cases and we can always extend it into more use cases where um, we can introduce new props like position with um, inputs like top bottom left and right um, to discuss the po uh, to specify the position of our tooltip component and a lot of other handy props making this um, a control component by rendering the tooltip by default or a handful of other things that you can extend it to based on your use case. And also this component is actually pretty, pretty dumb at this point, like it is not uh, context aware. Like if if my uh, hover over me, let's suppose existed here, it will still render it at the top um, and it won't be able to smartly figure out that there is no uh, that that area is outside the viewport and it should be rendering it to the right or to the bottom and starting from uh, the very beginning so all of these things can be added in the future um, based on uh, the use cases that we need in production but for the scope of uh, keeping this uh, entire problem and solution to be small we are not going to focus on that instead uh, we'll write some tests to make sure that if in case we add all those functionalities in the future that doesn't break our um, entire application so let's just go ahead and install jest and react testing library um, which we are going to use in this project to test the tooltip component so i'm going to go ahead and add jest babel jest and eslint plugin for jest and also uh, react testing library so while this is getting uh, installed i think i did something wrong not found eslint plugin jest is not found oh i think i misspelled it here yeah. So while this is getting installed, I want to go ahead and set up my ESLint to accommodate chest settings into the space. So I can open ESLint rc.js and since we just installed ESLint plugin just, I can just mention that chest is now available and I will also include some styling rules, uh, some ESLinting rules from just recommended yep 
yeah that uh, that looks good so the next uh, step here is to make sure that next step is to decide where my tests are going to reside so i can just create a new folder here called underscore underscore tests and we can now add some tests in that particular directory so uh,